Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, February 17th, and we are still virtual. We have one more day, and then we have a long weekend, and then we're back together again. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm going to be happy to be back together again. It's been nice seeing some of you during our live stream. That's been fun singing songs and seeing our special outfits we've been picking each day. Today's jammy day, so I have my hoodie on and my my uh, comfy, comfy, cozy pants. So today is jammy day. Um, today we're going to talk about teeth again. We've been talking about our bodies and keeping our bodies healthy. And we've been talking about our teeth because this is Dental Health Month. Um, and we've been talking about ways to keep our teeth healthy. Um, earlier in the week, we talked about brushing our teeth and I'm going to talk to you about an art project in a minute using this guy. So, but first, um, this little guy here, little guy right here. Do you guys know what animal this is? It looks like he lives where it's cold. Do you see the snow and ice? Yeah, this is a walrus and walrus have long Tusks. Tusks are like a very long tooth. Um, and this book is called Tooth Trouble. And it's by Jane Clark and Cecilia Johansson. And they are the authors. They wrote the story. And it sounds like somebody is having a problem with his tusk or his tooth. Let's see what the problem is. All right. Wilbur and his mother were crunching their way through a huge pile of shellfish. Ow, said Wilbur, my tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, said Mrs. Wilbur, Mrs. Walrus. Sorry about that. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Why do you think Wilbur doesn't want to go to the dentist? You think maybe he's afraid? Maybe he's a little scared? My tusk only hurts when I crunch, said Wilbur. If I take off the shells, I can just slurp them. Have some seaweed, said Mrs. Walrus. It's nice and soft. Ugh, said Wilbur. I don't want to eat seaweed. It's green and slimy. Then you'll have to go to the dentist, said Mrs. Walrus. But I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. So some of you... Like Kaylee say, I'm not allowed to eat green beans. And I say, you're allowed to eat green beans. You don't like to eat green beans. That's how Wilbur feels about seaweed. Wilbur's friends were tusk wrestling. Wilbur loved tusk wrestling. He locked tusks with his friend Walter. Womp! Ow! said Wilbur. My tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, said, Wil said Walter. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. That's how they learn to get big and strong. They tusk wrestle. My tusk only hurts when I wrestle, said Wilbur. Let's play on the ice slide, said Wanda. Whee! Wanda and Wilbur and Walter swooped down the slide. Splash! They somersaulted into the sea. That was great. Let's do it again, Walter said. Hear all those W names, Wander, Wilbur, Walter, and their walruses. Walter poked his tusk into the ice and pulled himself up onto the ice floor. Wanda poked her tusks into the ice and pulled herself up onto the ice floe. Wilbur poked his tusks into the ice and... Ow, yo, Wilbur, my tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Wanda said. And what did Wilbur say? I don't want to go to the dentist. I think he's a little worried, a little scared. I'll swim to Grandpa's, Wilbur said. It's easy to get out there. He's got a landing slope. It was a long way to Grandpa's, and Wilbur's tusk hurt in the cold water. He pulled himself up on Grandpa's landing slope, and he lay there moaning. He should go to the dentist. Tusk, tusk, said Grandpa. He put his flipper around Wilbur's shoulders and he helped him up onto the ice floe. What's the matter? My tusk hurts, 
Wilbur wailed. His whiskers quivered. You'll have to go to the dentist, Grandpa said. And what did Wilbur say? I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Grandpa smiled. Neither did I, he said. Uh-oh. What happened to Grandpa? He's missing a tusk, isn't he? Mrs. Walrus waddled up to the landing slope toward them. Walter, said, Wan, said Wanda. Walter and Wanda said, I'd find you here, she said. Is your tusk still hurting? Yes, said Wilbur. I'll have to go to the dentist. Finally, said Mrs. Walrus. Dr. Tusker, the dentist, was very gentle. I see what the problem is, she said. You've got a piece of shell stuck in the top of your tusk. There, I've taken it out. That feels much better, said Wilbur. She made him feel a little better. If you brush your tusk twice a day with this special fish-flavored toothpaste, your tusks will be strong and shiny, said Dr. Tusker. She gave Wilbur a sticker and said, that said, I brush my tusks. Wow, said Grandpa, I wish I had tusks like yours. Dr. Tusker will make you a false tusk, said Wilbur. You'll have to go to the dentist. And what did Grandpa say? I don't want to go to the dentist. Tusk, tusk, said Wilbur. And he put his flipper around Grandpa's shoulder. If I can go to the dentist, so can you. There you go. So Walter Wilbur did not want to go to the dentist. He was a little bit afraid. But when he finally got to the dentist, was it bad? No, it was it was fun. It was gentle. He was kind and he helped him to feel better. And what did the dentist say Wilbur needed to do? Yeah, he needed to brush his teeth twice a day with his, his tusks. He had to brush his tusks twice a day with his toothbrush. And he had fish-flavored toothpaste. Ooh. Do you want fish-flavored toothpaste? No. Some of you like bubble gum, and some of you like minty. Um, my son likes cinnamon. He likes cinnamon toothpaste. So uh, brush your teeth, no matter what kind of toothpaste you use, brush your teeth twice a day. Get them really clean all over. Fronts, backs, tops, bottoms, all over, and then spit. Okay? Um, today, what you have in your packets at home is a giant tooth. Yeah, just like you have in your mouth, a giant tooth. These are the roots. This part is called the crown. The part you see here, that's the crown. And inside of it is this soft stuff called dentin. Um, but the outer part, the part that's white that we brush, that's called enamel. So we brush the enamel with our toothbrush. But what you can do today, I sent home a toothbrush and I said, don't brush your teeth with it. It's for painting. And I sent you a tooth. And what you can do today is if you have paint at home, you can dip your toothbrush in the paint and you can brush, 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 paint these teeth and then you can hang them up on the fridge for your family. Um, if you do not have paint at home, you can um, Google homemade paint, and make your own or, which is actually a real thing, you can do that. Or you can just color with markers and crayons. If, if mom and dad don't want the mess, then you can just pretend to brush the tooth and then you can color with marker and crayons. That's okay too. Um, but make a beautiful tooth to share with your family and uh, bring your toothbrush back to school on Tuesday. Okay, because we're off on Monday. All right, so have a great day. I hope you are not having tooth trouble. And if it's time to go to the dentist, you don't need to worry because the dentist is very kind and gentle.
I'll see some of you in a little bit for live stream and uh, have a great day. Bye guys.